Call of Duty World War 2, it is official guys, it is now being confirmed but Just imagine it right now, D-Day, dudes pulling up onto the fucking beach Let's work together, okay, let's make this banger COD Everyone starts playing it, everyone gets hyped They start pumping out COD videos, everyone starts pumping out COD videos Okay, so it's been announced that Call of Duty is going to World War II. It's going back to its roots, guys. Oh my goodness. So many people have been waiting for this day, including myself, where we would finally say goodbye exosuits. Goodbye all that garbage, that baloney that they gave us for like, like God knows how many years now. I'm recording this video on the 21st, so they pretty much announced this just today. And man, everyone's just so extremely happy that Call of Duty's finally just going back to where it pretty much began. So I thought of playing uh, Black Ops 1. You know, what? why wouldn't I be playing World at War or one of the older games? Because, you know, I just thought, you know, Black Ops 1 is personally one of my favorite Call of Duties. I think it's my favorite, you know? I really haven't distinguished a, a favorite Call of Duty. I have before. I've said that Black Ops 1's my favorite before. I've said that actually MW3 is one of my favorites. And the reason I say that is because MW3 was one of the first Call of Duties I've ever got. The first one I've ever got was Call of Duty 4. And MW3 was so fun. I played that every single day, pretty much with my friends. And it was one of the like most fun experiences I ever had. So here's a million dollar question that everyone's asking, you know, is this game, is Call of Duty World War II, you know, the game that was announced, is this going to be the game that, well, that pretty much puts Call of Duty back on the map? We gonna pick you up there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You know what? I, I, ju I picked you up just to, just so that you could die. Wow. Well, so anyways, I think Call of Duty, uh, this game, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna fully save it. You know, I do have faith in this game. In terms of what I think of this Call of Duty, I don't know. We haven't seen anything of it yet. All we know is that it's boots on the ground and it's back to, uh, where it was in terms of its roots. And that is getting the, uh, excuse me, but that's getting the whole community on its feet and it's just making everyone so happy. But like I said, I don't know if it's gonna save, you know, the, the entire Call of Duty franchise, but I, you know, I think we as a community need to, you know, work together to make this, you know, this Call of Duty one of the best. Maybe, maybe it won't be as good as MW2. Who knows? Maybe it won't be good as the other Call of Duties. Honestly, it might be the best Call of Duty. Oh my goodness, I died. It might actually be the best Call of Duty that, that that's been created, but we don't know that. So I think the other million dollar question that everyone is asking is that is Call of Duty World War II going is it going to be the game that pretty much just brings back the community now if you really want my honest opinion about that I don't know and I think actually I think it could it, it has one of the biggest potentials this game Call of Duty World War 2 has probably has the biggest potential to bring back the community but there's another part to that I don't think that just simply a Call of Duty game can bring back the community it's gonna take more than a video game to bring back the community honestly the community itself needs to bring itself together and honestly I think it's the truth and I know I think some people might argue that but in my opinion I do think that not it's not just a video game that's gonna bring this community back to where it was me it might not I don't think it will be back to where it was, you know, back in MW2 days, but we can also create new memories and, you know, new good times with uh, the new Call of Duty that's going to come out. I think the one thing that can bring back this community is if FaZe Clan happens to pull through with a Phase 5 recruitment challenge. I mean, just think about it. If FaZe Clan does a Phase 5 recruitment challenge, I really do think that it's going to pull the community back to where it was, you know, during the Black Ops 2 days. You figure the last Phase 5 that happened, everyone was on their feet. Like, really, uh, everyone's just going nuts about it. Everyone wanted to join FaZe. And so many people had the opportunity of joining FaZe. A lot of people were more motivated because FaZe Clan is the biggest spot, obviously, that you can get. If Call of Duty World War II is one of the best Call of Duties ever, it honestly, it doesn't even have to be one of the best. It just has to be a very enjoyable and watchable game. Plus, the Phase 5 Recruitment Challenge, which uh, I don't know when that would be, honestly. It should be during the summer. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, during the summer. I mean, if they do both of that, then I really do think that the, you know, community can revive itself and I think the phase five you know, I know I'm talking a lot about the phase five right now and, and that's not that's not even the topic of this video but I have to point something out oh no scope but anyway
anyways, I think if FaZe did the Phase 5 like during the summertime, it would obviously get everyone hyped. But then once the Phase 5 rolls down, let's say the Phase 5 is over within, I don't know, July? Maybe not. I would say, oh my goodness, I'm missing. I would say the Phase 5 is over around August or July or something like that. I don't know how long it's going to be, but it will get the community hyped. And once Call of Duty World War 2 rolls around, everyone's going to get hyped again. And then there's going to be new Phase members. And, you know, it's really, it's going to revive the community. I, think. I don't even understand how people just manage to talk and play at the same time. That honestly really takes skill to do that. I mean, I'm talking like, look, I'm on the bottom of the leaderboard. I just don't know how people can just talk and play at the same time. Like I have to like move around and act like I'm doing something in order to talk. Oh, that he, or he ordered 20 piece McNuggets and a basket of fries. Hey, that was a good way to stall him. Like, hey, you know, your fries are gonna be a- Don, hang in there, big guy. <laughs> yeah, hang in there, buddy. Your your French fries are almost done. Oh, wait, is that the police? Oh, no, gotta get out of there. Woo! Your last meal. Oh, no, the police are chasing after me. I'm caught. I'm gonna have to take the coward way out now. That's gonna be the video for me today guys if you enjoyed the video Please be a like on it and subscribe if you're new to my channel and or want to see more content from me. Thank you guys for watching Peace